Welcome to Area 51. Area 51. We've all heard of it. This United States government facility is shrouded in mystery and conspiracy, and for good reason. After all, all research from the base is top secret. Because of this, very few people actually know what goes on behind the highly guarded walls surrounding the structure that's located deep in the deserts of Nevada. For decades, it's been speculated by the public that Area 51 houses highly advanced technologies from alien visitors and may even be the home, or prison, to alien life forms that have visited Earth. So, let's take a look at what has been speculated and what we've been told by the US government to see if we can shed some light on this iconic and mysterious facility. Area 51 has been shrouded in mystery for decades. In fact, it wasn't until 2013 that the United States government officially confirmed its existence when CIA documents were released, though not much in these documents came as a surprise to the public. Even the map of the region matched what you would see if you simply searched for Area 51 on Google Maps. Now let's discuss its name. Everyone knows it by the name Area 51, but the facility is officially named Homey Airport, and no, before you ask, it isn't called an airport because it's the landing zone for extraterrestrial space and air vehicles. It's an airport because Area 51 is actually a United States Air Force testing facility. In fact, to add more mystery into the mix, no one really knows why we call Homey Airport Area 51. Some say that it got its name from a numbering system used by the Atomic Energy Commission. The only hang-up with this explanation is that Homey Airport isn't actually a part of the AEC system, though it is near Area 15. It's said by some that the name Area 51 was used because it was unlikely that the AEC would end up using the number in their system, so no confusion would be had later on. But we see how well that worked out. Regardless of how it got its nickname, Area 51 has become one of the most iconic settings for science fiction and conspiracy theories about the United States government. These conspiracy theories cover a wide range of claims and topics. Some people claim that the United States government has used the facility to develop machines that can control the weather, teleport objects and creatures, and even travel through time. But by far the most prevalent are the theories involving the presence of aliens and alien technologies at Area 51. These ideas began to circulate after a large hunk of metal crashed at a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico. The US Air Force claimed that this was nothing more than a weather balloon, and for a few decades this was the accepted story. But in the 70s, self-proclaimed ufologists breathed new life into the conspiracy theories claiming that the objects weren't weather balloons and were instead flying saucers from space, and that the US government had actually captured the extraterrestrial pilots and developed a cover-up story to feed the public. These stories quickly spread throughout the public and people began to report sightings of UFOs. Now, a UFO is technically just an unidentified flying object, so these reports were technically accurate. However, today, the term UFO is practically synonymous with alien spacecrafts. So, if the people sending the reports were being honest, then did they truly see alien spacecrafts? Well, not quite. Remember, Area 51 is a top secret Air Force testing facility. It's been the site of development and testing for many aircraft, including the U-2 and the Oxcart. As it turns out, the people who were reporting UFO sightings were simply seeing the test flights of experimental aircraft. You see, airspace is segmented by altitude. In the 1950s, civilian flights occurred below 20,000 feet, while military flights ranged between 20,000 feet and 40,000 feet. But the experimental U-2 spacecraft flew at above 60,000 feet. When the US Air Force checked its test flight records with the times people claimed to have seen UFOs, they were able to confirm internally that civilians and airline pilots were simply seeing their experimental U-2 and Oxcart aircrafts on test flights. However, given the top secret nature of these test flights, they weren't able to tell the public about what they were seeing. This secrecy led to even more distrust and conspiracy behind the nature of Area 51. Despite all of the mystery, one thing is for sure. You do not want to participate in any raid or invasion of Area 51. We're talking about the United States Air Force here, and in case you hadn't heard, they don't play around. 
In fact, they've even released an official statement warning people not to trespass on the premises. Besides, it's incredibly unlikely that these conspiracy theories have any truth to them. That may be disappointing to hear, but perhaps that's because, in our hearts, we want to believe that there is something bigger beyond our atmosphere and that it isn't as far away as we fear. After all, in the words of Hans Urs von Balthasar, every mystery of life has its origin in the heart. <laughs> <laughs>